time for Neanderthal. Podcast is always in my head. Listen to Neanderthal. Two, one. We are live. We are streaming on YouTube. What do you think about that? That's cool. All right. <laughs> I'm going to introduce people. Well, I don't even. I you, Allie? Is that your name? Yes. Allie, I'm Ryan. You were watching me do my podcast last night. Yes. I kept seeing you walk around. Yeah. You kept watching. I saw you hovering. I was like, what's this girl doing? Hanging out. And then I got done doing my podcast and you came right up to me and just said, what's up? Yep. And uh, you caught me off guard. I was like, why is this little girl talking to me? (laughs) What's going on? And you wanted to be on my podcast. Yep. Okay. How come you wanted to be on my podcast? Um, I like um, just like talking to people yeah i like doing surveys and okay. i like just talking about people about like my favorite sports or like my favorites or like what i do in life or anything like that so okay yeah. so you like and you were just saying that you're doing podcasts in school yes how, what is that what do you mean you're doing podcasts in so school? so in my media class how old are you i'm 11 what grade is 11 uh fifth you guys are doing podcasts in the fifth grade? Yes. That's really cool. We're I didn't have anything like gonna that. We're going to be learning about wars. Wars? And we're going to be doing a podcast on wars. World War, like th- World War One and World War Two. I'm II, doing or? on the Cold War. Interesting. So, yeah. Interesting. And so you have to do a podcast on the Cold War? Yes. How far along are you in that? Um, I haven't started yet. Okay. Uh, a lot of my classmates have, but um, since I have my gifted education on Mondays, uh-huh. I go to Bridges. Um, I have to, I have to like catch up, but I don't have that much time to catch up. Okay. So yeah, I'm getting there, but I'm almost finished with my 20-page Oregon Trail story, and then I'll be working. 20-page Oregon Trail story. Yes. What is uh? Can you? Break that down real quick for us. What happened in the Oregon Trail? What is so your 20 pages like? My 20 pages are that it's not published yet. Okay. But um, I'm, I haven't typed it yet either. Uh-oh. But, um, you wrote it down by hand? Yes. Wow. I didn't know kids did that anymore. <laughs> so. You, you guys do that a lot? You guys write down things by hand a yeah, lot? Yeah. We draft it and then we actually publish That's it. That's good to know. I'm glad. Out. So basically... What um, it is is I have my introduction, and then I have things about the golden uh, Californian Gold Rush, mm-hmm. the Oregon Trail, the uh, Louisiana Purchase, oh, uh, Lewis and Clark. Oh, and that's then, a good one. Um, the Lewis and Clark Trail. Uh, yeah. Well, no, not trail, but like just, just them about in general? Lewis and Clark. There was just a, give me some good Lewis and Clark stories. So Lewis and Clark were explorers. What and, year? Um, Roughly. It was sometimes in May, uh, sometime in May, at like 19 something. <laughs> I okay. Forgot, early 1900s. Yeah, er, early 1900s. Okay. And um, so, basically, I um, a fun fact about Lewis and Clark is Lewis committed suicide. No way. When he was at least 50. I wouldn't say that's a fun fact. Yeah, it's but not a fun fact. But that's a fact. It's interesting. That is a very interesting yes. fact. Absolutely. How did he kill himself? Do you know? Um, he just, like, he wasn't good in life at that point. He was, like, he didn't know he was famous. Well, he knew he was famous, just he didn't, like, no one treated him that way, I think. And that's not what he wanted to He wanted happen. to be treated famously? I don't think he so. He wanted to be revered or no? He just, did he just want to... Um, I'm not actually sure because I'm not him. Sure. But <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, so he died at an inn um, over by the northern um, states. Yeah. Wow. Over by the northern states. And then Clark actually died uh, at his son's home. Okay. When he was 60-something or 80-something. Was that old for back then? Was that um, an old life, 60s, 50s? I, if Lewis lasted till 50, that's kind of good. Yeah. Even though he 
killed himself. <laughs> yeah. Huh. But That's sad. Who mm-hmm. kills himself at 50? I know. Poor guy. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, without him, who knows? I know. Is he your favorite? Do they have any good stories of encounters with, like, bears or um, mountain lions well, or anything like they that? they encountered uh, Sacagawea. <gasps> that was them? Yes. Did one of them fall in love with Sacagawea? <laughs> yes. Oh, no. And they had a baby named... Uh, it was Jesus or something. Not Jesus, because Jesus is right. there. But, I mean, um, it started with a J. That's all I remember. But <laughs> hmm. So, yeah. And that's all part of the organ I think his name was Julius or something like that. Agilius? Yeah. I kind of like that name. I, I like it, too. It's yeah. Get a little unique. closer to that, Mike. It's really unique. That is really so unique. I liked the species back then. So, fifth grade, and you're in the gifted program. Yes. You like, just like, to, I've seen you, you are like a little social butterfly. You're walking <laughs> yes. around talking to everybody. I love talking to people. What brings you here to this game con? Um, so, my dad, he was one person that set this up. Oh, really? So, uh, and he's really good with arcades. So, he's back there doing all the arcade stuff. Like the pinball stuff, or um, no, or he's not in pinball. What he's arcade? Like arcade games, like um, are those some? Are there Pac-Man. Some of them? Those are here. Yes. Where? They're over there, like all the way by the wall. I didn't even know that was over there. And my dad projected it on the wall, so that then you can play. We have all of our arcade stuff and yeah. everything. So. Oh, yeah. I had no idea it was over. There. I have to be honest. I haven't really walked around here a <laughs> yeah. whole lot. I've just kind of been at my. My little booth here. Mm-hmm. Um, but what do you think of the cosplay people? I like, yeah, I like them. You like them? Yeah. Do you have a favorite? Um, I really, really like the VR. Although they're not really um, cosplay. Oh, I haven't checked out the VR. VR is amazing. I love them right now. <laughs> What's going on with the VR? Um, what, what can you do over there? Roller coasters. And what, you sit down? You sit down in this chair, and basically you put the VR headset on, Uh and you just enjoy, I guess. Really? Is it scary? Did you scream? Um, I have screamed a couple of times. Really? But it's a lot of fun. Oh, that's fun. I'm a roller coaster girl, so nothing really scares me with roller coasters at that point. Ooh, look at you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how good is the VR? I've never seen, I've never put on a VR headset up before or anything. It's very good. It's very realistic. Really? You really feel, it really is good? Yes, it really feels like it. I did one of the most intense ones just a couple of min- uh, minutes ago. Really? It was uh, across the valley of lava. Whoa. And it was really And it looked really real? Cool. Yeah. What, uh, do they have games you can play too? Um, yes, but they're only doing like, they're not doing the games today. Okay. Just because it could get a little bit too rambunctious and that, so yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll check it out and check out the uh, the roller coaster at least. I've always wanted yeah. to try, try it out. I've just been, I don't know, apprehensive for whatever yeah. reason. Um, so what are you going to do on your podcast about the Cold War? Do you have any ideas? Like, are you going to have another person on and interview um, them? Or do I you have an idea of what kind of style you're going to do? So I'm going to interview someone first. And then I'm going to take some of their knowledge and put it into my own words so I don't plagiarize them. But I'm also going to have us do, like, a scene where we're talking, but it says facts about the Cold War. Okay. As we are talking in, like, we're in the Cold War. Okay. Like, we're the ones that are experiencing it. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> like the civilians? Yes. Are you Are you on the Russian side or the American side? American. You sure? Yes. Why not do the Russian side and give the Russian perspective? I um, bet nobody else would do that. I bet nobody else in your class would do a different perspective on whatever war they picked. They're all, everyone, everybody that picks a war in your class, they're all going to pick the American side. Because you, they're American. Exactly. And why don't you do, uh, if you haven't started yet and you're wanting to do things a little different, why don't you try doing the perspective of the Russian side? I'll try to. Yeah. It's something to think Maybe about. Maybe I can have one person be on the American side and me on the Russian side. There you go. And then we fight or we do whatever... Yeah, you're doing the Cold War right now. So yeah. Yeah. I think that'd be interesting. Mm-hmm. It would be stronger than just saying it plain out. Yeah. Like just the facts. Right. So, 
Yeah. Facts are nice, but it's also have it's nice to have facts from both sides. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. I like that. Now, will this podcast be available for everybody to listen to? Like, is your teacher having one podcast and all these are being submitted to that and everybody can listen to it? Or yes. Really? Okay. Yes. Can, do you know where we can find that podcast um, at? So, yes. It's, like, not right now. Okay. But um, I usually listen to podcasts. What kind of podcast my, uh, do you listen laptop. to? laptop. I listen to The Disappearance of Mars Patel and all kinds of different mystery stories or like tragedy stories okay things like mystery that. stories what's the, is it they make up a mystery and, and that's what the podcast is about or uh, they go basically that's and there's all kinds of different episodes and different things that sounds like really that. fun i would have loved that as a kid i would have really liked that as a kid that's like six seasons six seasons i'm on season five yeah i'm on episode eight what was the name of the uh uh, the Disappearance of Mars Patel. Mars Patel? Mm -hmm. Disappearance of Mars Patel. Yes. Huh. I'm going to check that out. <laughs> I'm always looking for a new podcast. Yeah. Is this uh, the first podcast you've ever been on? Um, no. Oh, look at you. I was uh, on one at my school for a speech that I had to do. Okay. And I was like just on, uh, I wasn't on TV, <laughs> but yeah. I was like. I was on that um, podcast, but that was like four years ago, I think. So Wow. Yeah. Four years ago. You were seven years old four years ago. I'm also very excited because um, I got one out of 180 chances to become a mayor for our school. What's or that? For our grade. What's so that? So we're going to a field trip okay. to the um, Museum, Museum of Economics. Okay. Where's that at? So it's in Blue Springs. Okay. But, um, so there was a one in 180 people that could be the mayor. Okay. I am the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm very, very happy because I got that one in 180 chance. How did you get that? Was this a lucky, lucky draw or did no. you earn it? Um, I earned it. So well, there you go. Nice. What I had to do is I had to write a speech that was two to three minutes long. Okay. And then, um, I had to say it in front of my class. Nice. And then everyone that wrote a speech... Uh, or everyone that um, each person had to pick one person that wrote a speech. Okay. Well, there were at least all of us in our class, except for the people that weren't there that day. Yeah. But, so basically, I got picked from my uh, class, and then the day after that, I had to do it in front of the whole grade Ooh. and the teachers right. and everything. Which was nerve wracking. Right, of I course. Have, uh, it overcame and good for you. I'm the mayor, so yeah. wow, good for you. That's really awesome. Our field trip is December 11th. So December, that's coming up. Uh huh. Holy cow, that's in like ten, nine or ten days. So I have to do a speech, okay. another speech. I have to write it, right? Publish it, um, and I have to do it um, whenever we get to the field trip, right? And then I have to do another one that I have to write during the field trip. Oh, yeah? Um, well, that sounds really end, fun. So. So it's going to be a lot of fun. What mm -hmm. was your speech about? Do you remember? Can you can yes. you do your speech? Like, what was it about? Well, I can't do my whole speech okay. because I did it, like, three weeks ago. Okay. But um, basically it was about, like, why I would be good as mayor. Right. I didn't comp uh, campaign, though. Okay. So... You didn't even have to campaign. You were so your no. speech was so good. They just said we're making we're making her the mayor. Everyone, this is how good her speech is. Everyone campaigned except me, so I was like, wow. I have a really good chance with this. Nice. Because you're not supposed to campaign. Oh. So I was the only one that listened. That's so right. Good for you. Yeah. That's why you got it. A good mayor mm -hmm. listens. Yes. I was like, I said a lot of things like integrity and stuff like that. It's a big word. Yes. Um, and since you didn't. Since you didn't campaign, because that's what the rules were, yeah. that shows that you have good integrity. Yes. Look at you. <laughs> You're going places. Yep. You are. When I grow up, I want to be a SEAL trainer. Really? Yes. Where at? Um, I don't know yet. Maybe SeaWorld, somewhere like that. I got news for you. Yeah? You're not going to like it. Why? There's not going to be a SeaWorld when you get older. Really? Mm-mm. I don't think there's going to be much SEAL training either. <laughs> I don't know. Well, there's going to be zoos, so. Yeah, I guess there will. Yeah, I guess there probably will be zoos. Yeah. 
You like the seals at the Kansas City Zoo? Mm -hmm. Yeah, get into mar marine, bi bi uh, marine biology. Yes. That's what you want to get into. Yes. Now, that's always going to be there. I just mean there's a lot of uh, negativity that surrounds SeaWorld. So it's not just SeaWorld that I'm talking at. Um, yeah. I also want to be a zoologist. A zoologist? I took zoology classes last year and the year before. Um, I'm, surprised they, I'm surprised they have those at your age to take that kind of stuff. That's really neat. They have uh, gifted programs. So yeah. Yeah. You could choose between robotics, zoology, chemistry, and uh, more, like little bits and stuff like that where you just create. Mm -hmm. I did little bits when I was in uh, first grade because I started the gifted program when I was in kindergarten. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> you are super. You're smarter than me. <laughs> you're 11 and you're smarter than me by far. <laughs> I'm also very flexible. Okay, do you do yoga or anything like yeah. that? Yeah, you're young. All young people are pretty flexible. But, I mean, I'm more flexible than the average person. Are you? What, are you double jointed or something? In every single bone in my body. Holy cow. <laughs> are you kidding me? No. Can you do something with your arm? Um, that would be, well, I don't know, what do you do that freaks people out? Let me do it. Oh, my gosh. Let me take that. I get it. Holy cow. And I can bring it over, but I have the headphones on. But you got the headphones so. on. Holy cow. Yeah. Wow. I also do things with my legs. So. Wow. Very cool. That's interesting. How did you find you, that you had that um, thing going on? Talent? So there's a YouTuber that I watch called Sophie Dossie. Sophie Dossie? Yes. She's a contortionist. Okay. So I started learning from her, and then uh, I moved to a new school this year, so... And I found someone that does contortion. Oh, so really? How nice. How lucky for me you. Me and her do it together. So. Oh, cool. Yep. <laughs> wow. You got all kinds of things going on in your little world. Yeah. It's great being a kid right now, huh? Eh. <laughs> eh? Yeah. What's your favorite thing about being a kid? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do? Uh, bowl. Bowl? Bowl, yes. Are you pretty good at bowling? Yes. Really? What's Middle your high league. score? Um, right now it's 124 this season, but last season it was 168. Wow. So, started the season a couple of weeks, no, not a couple of weeks, like five months ago, but I'm one of the top bowlers in my league right now. So. You're top everything. My Look dad, at you. he bowls also. Okay. He's bowled since he's been five. So that's something that I got from him. Right. And then my mom bowled. Oh. So. Just a bowling had, family. She had back surgery, so she can't bowl anymore. Oh, I'm sorry but to my hear dad, that. But uh, my brother is going to start bowling this year. How so old's your brother? He's eight. All right. He's actually over there. But cool. He's well, a little butt, though. <laughs> yeah, he's a little butt? Yes. Well, yeah. Little kid, yeah, I had a little brother. He was a little butt, too. But you know what? He's one of my best friends now. Yeah. Yeah. I love him to death. I love him just he can it's hard. rage. It's hard living <laughs> with people. You know, it really is. It's Our parents are divorced, so that's another thing yeah. that he's kind of like really <laughs> upset about. Of course. So. That's hard to do. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. That's not fun to go through a divorce for anybody. They've been divorced for four years now, so yeah. I'm getting used to it. So. Yeah. Takes a little getting used to. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as long as you know that they both love you really, really, yes, really much, you know, that's all that matters, right? I know that. Yeah. There's sometimes just things happen. Mm hmm I'm divorced. I know how it is. Yeah. And I have kids. Yeah. Parents don't... Yeah, it's hard on parents when they have kids mm -hmm. to go through a divorce, too. I'll let you... I'll, I'll give you my... Pers we were talking about different sides of the perspective. Yeah. So, on my perspective side, on my side, it's really hard for me because I know it's hard on my kids. It stinks. I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I don't like. I don't like that my kids have to go through me being divorced. It's hard on me too. I understand it's hard on them, but it's also hard on yeah, yeah. Divorce is never fun. No. But as long as you know that they both love you a whole lot, that's gonna. That's all you need. That's yeah. all that matters when it boils down to it. Something that I was talking to you about yesterday was I love animals. Right. Just like we were talking about seals. Seals are my favorite animal. Yeah. Platypuses are my second favorite animal. Oh, good animal. choice. Platypus is a great <laughs> animal. I love platypuses. They're so weird. They are weird, but it, I love them. <laughs> yeah, me too. And then um, 
I also, a story that I had a couple uh, a couple of years ago, I went to Texas, I went to SeaWorld, oh, cool. and um, I was feeding the seals, like, every single time, <laughs> and a stork came and bit my finger. A stork? Almost off, but <laughs> I almost had four fingers on my, uh, on the sands. Wow. On my right hand. I can't believe a stork would do that. I know. Unbelievable. I just wanted the fish. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? Birds are really mean. They're like dinosaurs. I once had 120 pets. You once had 120 house. pets? 60 of them were snails. I was going to ask yeah. if there were cockroaches or something. Um, no, snails. I don't have any cockroaches. I had two bearded dragons, Mystic and Flash. Nice. I had uh, four hamsters, Seymour, Abraham, um, Alex, named after Alex Gordon. And Alex then, um, Gordon. Another uh, Another Seymour. But right, uh, right now, I had I had seven cats. Seven cats in one house, or were they out wild running around? Um, they were split into three houses. One was my grandma's. Okay. Which is Kitty. <laughs> That's the name. Yes. Good name. He was, uh, she was my cat, but not anymore. But um, then we had Snoopy and Marbles. Oh, I like to name Marbles. And Sadie and Oscar. Uh, they all lived in our house. And then my, our mom has socks. It's the only ones alive right now are uh, Kitty, Ninja. Oh, wait. I've, uh, so there actually was five at my dad's house. Uh, Schweetz was our kitten. And then we had Marbles, Snoopy, Sadie, and Oscar. And then we also had uh, at our mom socks and then Kitty and then Ninja. Ninja is our newest one. She is. Did uh, you name Ninja after the uh, streamer? Um, no. No. <laughs> I, Ninja is actually my favorite cat name, and it's my future cat, so. Okay. Why do you like the name Ninja? Um, just because kittens, they run around, they're sneaky. Like little ninjas. They're black, so I mean. Yeah. She's all black, so that's a really good name for her. So. That is a good name for her. And then, um, Marbles passed away a week ago. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Right after we left from, um. Right after we came back from Iowa, actually. How old was Marbles? 18. That's an old cat. Good Snoopy long life. Snoopy is cat slash dog. So Snoopy from Peanuts, it's yeah. a dog. Right. But we have a cat that fetches. Really? Yes. That's rare. Yeah. <laughs> he fetches hair bands. He fetches pipe cleaners. Hair bands? Like from the 80s? Uh, No, but like <laughs> in your hair. In that. <laughs> but um, so... Yeah, <laughs> he's a weird cat, but he's his nickname is Tank. Tank. He's a uh, he's fat. <laughs> nice. So yeah. Fat like a tank. Yes. I like it. And then Marbles is a nickname. I came up with it. It was Marbosia. I don't know why. I just came up with it. Cause you're a smart girl and Schweetz's come up with some crazy names. Uh, Schweetz's name m nickname was Grasshopper. Okay. Every um, so. You got all these cats, and they also have nicknames. Yes. Oscars That's a lot of words to be putting in that <laughs> brain of yours. Oscar's uh, nickname was Mustache. Sadie's nickname was Leopard. Ninja's nickname is uh, Secret <laughs> or Shadow. Yeah. One of the two. And then two we Two nicknames and a regular name. Yes. Wow. And then Kitty's nickname is Sassy. So. I like it. And our grandma has at least eight more cats that... Uh, live around outside. So. Wow. We're a cat family. <laughs> I've noticed. You can tell. An animal family. I've never had a dog. So. Do you want a dog? Um, I want a golden retriever. Great dogs. Great dogs. You got a name for them already? No, not yet. You gotta wait till you see what the personality. I like the name like. Angel, but. Angel. Yeah. I want a sweet, loving lap dog that will oh. sit in my lap. So. Well, uh, a golden. Retriever is not really a lap dog. That yeah, it's bigger kinda than you. It's kind of. I mean, he can lay his uh, head in your lap. Obnoxious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still, they're the best dogs to me. So. Cool. My friend had one. They're great dogs. And I loved her. I so. like labs a lot. Labs are awesome, also. <laughs> yeah, they're like a golden retriever, just not as hairy. Either they a golden retriever or a chocolate lab. There you go. Lab. Any lab. Them. Labs are awesome. Or Pomeranian, although they're yippy yappy dogs. So. I had a uh, Pekingese Pomeranian mix. Uh. Yeah. Not the greatest dog ever. Also, a Pepeon would be nice. 
You just want a dog. Yeah. Let's be honest. You don't care what it is. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you do uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook? Is that a thing you do? Um, not yet. Or does yet. that not start I, yet? Uh, I can't do Facebook yet. I can't do Twitter yet. Good. I do Instagram. Do you? But not that much. Well, good. You don't need to be doing that stuff, Kat. You're too little. Not yet. You got too much world to be, too much in this world to be exploring. The only thing I really post on Instagram is slime. I love slime. Slime, Slime. huh? What's your deal with slime? What can you explain? What slime is? I don't really know what slime is. So slime is like a substance that is like. So there's different types of slime, like fluffy cloud, fishbowl. like glossy or um, pokey. Do you make it? Yes. How do you make it? So you put glue in a bowl or whatever you want. Uh huh. And then you can add food coloring. Okay. You can add diapers to make. Uh, so basically. Make what? Diapers. Diapers. So basically, you take the fluff out of the diapers. Okay. You put water in it, and then it fluffs up, and then you put it in the slime, and it makes it cl- cloud. Okay. Which is really cool. And then. We have, I have all kinds of glue, all kinds of, um... Elmer's glue? Yes. Okay. And then you add it's food not sticky? coloring. How uh, is it not sticky? What takes the stickiness away from the glue? Um, so then you add food coloring and then you add the activator. Okay. Which is a laundry detergent or, like, Stufflo or Tide if you want to use it. And okay. Then you can also use contact, uh, contact lens solution. And okay. that will also help activate the slime because it has bor- uh, boric powder. And so what do you do with the slime? You just play with it? Yeah. And it just looks cool? It's mm-hmm. fun to play with? You can add all kinds of glitters and all kinds of things. So. Okay, that sounds fun. I can see. I have 64 tubs of slime at my mom's house. What do you do with it all? What do you have 64 tubs of slime for? That seems excessive. Well, sometimes... What I are you going to do with this slime? Sometimes I add them together. To make like a bigger slime. Oh my god! You can make a. Can you make a big pool of slime? Could you, um, would you like to go swimming in a pool of slime? It would be sticky because all slimes have a different consistency. But yeah. It, w- it would be cool. Wouldn't that be kind of neat? Mhm. Yeah. You can get like a little kids pool, those little kitty pools that came out, yeah. fill that thing up with slime. Uh huh. Be interesting. It would be interesting. I don't know. Throw your little animals in there. No. Yeah. See. See how socks does in a tub of uh, slime. She's declawed, so she wouldn't like it. Yeah, probably wouldn't like it if she had claws either. She's declawed on all four paws. Nice. Allie, this was a lot of fun. Thank it you was. for uh, hanging out and being on my podcast. You're welcome. I'll, uh, I'll figure out how you, you can, uh, I'll give you my information and it'll be up later and you can check it out. It'll be on YouTube and okay. all the podcast apps. YouTube is my one favorite app, so I mean, well, you can, I'm uh, always on it. Well, you'll be able to you'll be able to you will be able to watch yourself on YouTube. Wow. <laughs> on my podcast. Yeah. Thank you, Allie. I appreciate it. This was a lot of fun. Is there anything you'd like to say before we hang up here? Um, no. No? I think we've covered it all. So. Yeah, do you want to promote your dad's stuff at all? Does he have anything you think he'd want to promote? Yes. Go ahead. So, and my dad he is So, he's a gamer. Nice. He's always been a gamer been a bowler he's always been a bowler right so basically all he does is game bowl game bowl game bowl but um i love him and she's awesome nice and my mom too but yeah (laughs) awesome what a great way to end i can't think of anything a better way to end than that my dad he's one of my um people i look up to beautiful because he's my dad and that's where i got bowling from he taught me all the math. I knew fractions in first grade because of him. And so I've made a really big, uh, long way, long wow. road of success with awesome. him. So, yeah. Shout out to Allie's dad. <laughs> Everybody, thank you for watching from uh, KC GameCon. This was Allie, and I am Ryan. Listen to Neanderthal. Say what?